Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we continued on to Ashwood Forest, and we got some new powers and things, but nothing special. Wow, a lava cave! I've never been in here before. Eh, it looks like we can't go into some of the treasures, because we can't get to some of the treasures because there's lava in the way. That's rubbish. Alright, let's fight this one. Lava Joyfish. Unlike most fire enemies, water won't work against them. They're annoying like that. Okay, let's use Agua Arrow on you. Watch out, you may get wet, and then you'll be weak against thunder and ice. Just like that, one is dead. In a minute, we'll take advantage of this situation and, you know, scan that one. I just want to be sure that I actually, you know, don't get in a bad situation here. The less region I have to do outside of battle, the better. Alright. Let's see what it's weak to. It is a red jellyfish, a jellyfish which uses only fire attacks and burns itself. It is completely... It absorbs both water and fire. It's weak to ice, electricity, and poison. Speaking of poison, and it's dead. We got red feathers from somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where. We got a donut, garlic, and coffee. Okay, while I'm thinking about it, I need to check something. Interesting. So this is our stats currently. Okay, so one dead. Ah, oh, he doesn't have anything that's good against them. Whatever, I guess I'll just keep fighting them like this. Got a crit, which means this battle ends now. Done. Magma sample. Alright, there's not a lot we can actually do in here. But we can open up this shortcut. And by pushing that there, it's gonna stay there now. Typically, if there's, an ever, if there's ever an X marks the spot like that, you should always push any blocks that you can onto it. You either open up a new path, or you'll just simply get a free item for it. Agua arrow on you. Because you're an evasive little jerk. Earth on you. Too easy. Let's use a regular attack on you. I get hit in the boob. Grr. Got hit in the boob by fire. That's whatever. Alright, we got bind debuffs all foes evade microcontroller, and a blink CD. Like Matt was saying before, we can't get this level right now. And by coming up here, we've made it past these vines that were in the way because we're such amazing people, yay! You guys don't look too experienced, so let me give you some awesome advice. You'll want to learn some healing skills quite early on so you don't have to rely on items too much. It's also a good idea to get your first limit break skill soon. Wow, like, that's totally not obvious. Stats problems like poison go away after battle, but you'll even, and you'll even be ri revived if you're dead. But leaving your allies dead during battle to save on items probably isn't a good idea. Well, that's debatable. If you're using the same elemental skill a lot, check if you have a weapon that boosts the power of that element. 
enemies in each area have similar weaknesses. For example, a lot of enemies here are weak against poison or water. It's hard to tell whether enemy, what enemies are weak against, but you can get a rough idea based on their bestiary info and from the visual effects of their attacks. So we need a key for that. We can't do anything with that right now, but there's a new enemy! Rather than immediately attacking the enemy, let's kill all the other enemies. Hmm, I thought alcohol was supposed to be bad for dogs. I guess I know nothing. Alright, attack you. E, it's too cute to fight. It lowers our attack, sadly. There we to water, so... Dang it, not enough. Okay, she'll finish off this one and now we can scan the last one. Without having to take too many hits. Oh, with the fact that it's a healer. Okay, friend dog. A loyal and friendly dog that refuses to fight and instead supports other foes. It's weak to poison, darkness, and doom, I think that is. I'm not exactly sure. Poison, you say? Uh, I mean, I can just attack. So, she's blessed, so she can't be po and she can't be burned or anything anymore. Magma Sample and Red Feathers. So we got the Night Helmet. Randomly cast no eggs between turns. It gives him more of a, a weakness to uh, fire and water. But no eggs is a really good, you know, thing to have. Aha, there's Natalie. We should take her with us because she'll die out here. Plus she can do spells and stuff. Alright then. Wow, she's really pretty. I guess she should be useful to have around if she's a mage. Matt, you're alive! Me and No Legs watch you die! It was horrifying! Anna spared my life because I'm such an awesome guy. We need to help her find the green with Jewel. She'll never forgive us. I'm going up ahead. Feel free to join me whenever you're done with your dramatic reunion. Also, I'm just going to say this now. Uh, Anna is really gay. Like, very incredibly homosexual. Oh, nice! Such an awesome person left a, some awesome person left a water bucket out here for travelers. There should be a slime bunny in there. Okay, so... As you can see, Natalie is the healer. If you watch my third playthrough, I mean, even the first two playthroughs, she's the healer. She's the light mate, the white mage. She does all those cool things. Matt is the warrior. He does all a bunch of physical skills with elemental effects. Anna's new, so you know we're all learning about her. We don't know Lance yet, though, so we'll learn more about him later. Found sushi pumpkins, and muffins. And while I'm thinking about it, sushi. I didn't mean to give those to him. I meant to give those to her. Whoops. Well, it's fine. Sure, it's fine. I meant to give those to her, but I'll just stick the rest of them in her and never give any of that again. Hi, no legs. Ah, uh, Noakes wants to fight too. We should nurture his talents. I mean, I guess. <laughs> All right, she doesn't have a want that she can use here, so let's use the scan bot. Sadly, it killed one of the enemies that was here, but uh, whatever. Dark Bush, level four, a timid creature who chooses non-elemental attacks and can lower the party's defense. I still have that, but I don't want to use it yet. Okay, they're weak to light, wind, thunder, and fire. What does she have? A few of those things. Nice, a fire spell. That should help wipe out plant and ice enemies pretty quickly. Yeah, get away from me! Okay. Uh, wind. Or actually, summons no eggs. Uh, 
Um. Dang it, that, I was hoping that was the one that was stronger. Okay, it doesn't matter. We did it anyway. We got curly horns, bug wings, and fine fur. So now that we're having more of a variety of enemies, I might as well show this off. So in the Cyclopedia, in the Bestiary, if you click on an enemy, not only do you see all their normal things that you see during battle, you also see their actual, well, no, I guess you can see their stats in battle, but you can also see their item drops. So these enemies are linky, they drop linky roots, kiwis, and ogle berries. Now, do we have any that drop anything good? Okay, so red wasps have a 1% chance to drop honeycombs. That means one out of every 100 you kill will drop a permanently stat increasing item. Uh, black wasps can drop bioviruses and silk, which are rare collectibles that you need for things later on. Um, friend dog can drop any of these variety of items, because, you know, buffing items are kind of its thing. Yeah, you can get a lot of good things from all these guys. I'm okay. So flame sprite, they have a chance to drop rubies. Rubies are incredibly helpful, and you probably won't find any for a while. And they're very useful for upgrading, I think, Matt's equipment. So I'm gonna hope I get some from them. If not, then it's kind of a bummer to be honest. Okay, new enemy types. Oh great, now there's undead enemies showing up too. Let's hit them with some holy spells. If only we had any. Okay, Flame Wraiths. A ghost which uses fire and dark attacks to make berserk players. So they're weak to water, wind, and light. So... Water, you say? Uh... She doesn't actually have anything. Let's just try to... Oh, I could do something else. I wouldn't rely on that spell too much, it's got pretty random damage. Well, at least non-elemental attacks can't be absorbed by enemies. I think that fire attack that just happened has, is the one that has the chance of Berserk. So, that's important to keep in mind. Uh, wind. Here we go. Foes drop a variety of items after battle, and they can be used to upgrade your equipment in the forge menu. You can also buy specific items from the item shops in town. Okay, water. And now that it's wet, let's use some electricity on it. Water conducts. Ooh, thunder. That would be good against a lot of flying enemies and robots, too. It didn't quite kill it. I thought you were tougher than that. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Let's shock it. And it's dead. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, though. That's... Whatever. We're gonna get a uh, medal after this battle, then. Ow. Thank you, No Legs. I really appreciate that. I just realized that there's another wave to this. Make sure to summon Scanbot often. Okay, uh, items, coffee, because I need you. Oh, I was just about to find out what the light at the end of the tunnel was. Let's do it. Sometimes I want to punch myself in the face to fill up my limit bar faster, but that's probably not a good idea. I'm going to say probably not. Okay. Uh, they're weak to water. Let's use that. Water. And let's heal. Uh, let's heal her. Because I have a bad feeling. This kind of damage isn't a problem at all. Okay. Scan bot time. Red Bush, a timid creature which uses non-elemental attacks can lower the party's defense. Uh, it's weak to fire, wind, earth, poisoned, and is extremely weak to burn. And I don't remember what that one is. I think it's, I don't think it's exhaustion. I think it's the one that makes you get critical hits. So stagger, 
or whatever. All right, he doesn't have a fire skill yet. It is weak to earth though, so I might as well end it's dead thanks to a crit. Done. And we got a ruby, which is exactly what I need. Bottled darkness, that seems like a rare thing as well. I'll actually check that while I'm looking at this. Okay, it'll be on the next page. 10% chance and a 5% chance of rubies. These guys also have a 1% chance of dropping donuts, which increase your magic defense. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's forge his sword. I need steel plates to forge his sword. Could upgrade this. I mean, there's no reason not to. Okay, may siphon foes, targets MP, drains MP with certain skills, boost the power of wind skills, may cast a whirlwind with certain skills. Do I want the extra attack, or do I want eat more HP and MP as well as the rest of those effects? And I suppose I could upgrade both. Okay, so plus 30% damage plus 5% or plus 5 MP. Plus 10% damage. I think I'll stick to what I get because I also get a bunch of resistances out of that weapon, which are important at this point in the game. We got honeycombs, kiwi, and milk. I'm looking for some materials to make a potion, but this kind of force, but this force is kind of dead, so I'm having a hard time. She needs algal berries, which you know we have a bunch of. Gash Nuts, which we have two of, and Lanky Root, which we have one of. Alright, new enemy type over here. Okay. I'll scan it in a minute. Uh, the weak to Earth. Dang it. Um, she's no legs. No eggs pops up again. Alright, you... You use Earth. And Scanbot. What are these guys weak to? Uh, defensive foes, how boring. Lava Turtle, level 5. A defensive foe which uses Earth and Fire attacks. It has low evade and can buff itself. It is a... Comp it is completely absorbent of uh, fire. It is weak to water, earth, poison. It is resistant to electricity, explosions, and wind. All right. So earth was a good bet with it. Water is also an even better bet. So, so all damage taken is reduced by 50%. Yikes. Alright, since it is wet, I may as well use ice against it. Cool, ice spells are generally effective against rocky or wet foes, so that will come in handy. Yikes, so now we'll get that metal I was talking about earlier. At least I think I will. Okay, I guess I'm forgetting what that metal actually is. Oh, no, okay, yeah, I can't get that metal yet. Never mind. Okay. Did I talk to you guys yet? Ashwood used to be part of Greenwood, but then a meteorite struck, smashed into it, and, well, it looks a bit different now. It's a pretty good place for hunting, though, since there's a much bigger variety of monsters showing up. 
Your chance of hitting a target depends on the ratio of your accuracy to the enemies of aid. If your accuracy is higher, you'll always hit them. However, some attacks have lower ac or higher accuracy than normal, so you may have to factor that in too. So someone stole a magical jewel in Greenwood? I didn't see anything like that. It must have been someone else. Oh, now I see you guys. It's pretty obvious you don't have it. But I'm still mad that you pillaged my village. <laughs> that rhymes. And for that, you're going to repay me by helping me find my jewel. And that's how it is, Natalie. Anna's the self-appointed team leader now. Cool. Alright, so let's use water against you. I kill you before you become too hard to hit. Now these guys are weak to electricity, fire, and wind. As well as light, of course, but she doesn't have that. So electricity, you say? What does she have? She has wind, at least. Light and it's dead, because holy crap. Alright, she leveled up. So, kind of want to way to upgrade something. So I think I will. Okay, got armor, cowboy shirt, no special effect. Gives a bunch of stats though. Which reminds me. So the reason that we sometimes get no eggs randomly is because she has the cat badge on her. Randomly cast no eggs between turns and it gives her a 10% resistance to, I think that's water. It doesn't look like the water symbol though, so getting wet then? Yeah, to wet. Okay. I'm gonna make him weaker to fire and water to get no eggs to pop up more often. You know, I've never tried eating bear before. It's about time I had some. Okay, so my suggestion for the bear enemies, do not focus them to begin with. They're not so bad when you start the battle. Leave them alone for a bit. It, it's my honest suggestion. Take some time to set yourself up because you're going to need to. Hey, that attack tickled. Do it again. Alright, water on you, water on you, and the reason being is because when you scan them, you'll find out they have a special ability. Brown Bear, level 5, a large predator which uses non-elemental attacks, goes berserk if hit by a powerful attack. The more damage you deal to it, the more damage it will deal to you. It is honestly awful. And as such, let's make it go berserk. Uh oh, we've made it go berserk. It's way more dangerous now. Yeah, it has a lot of health and will go berserk the more you damage it. It's really unfortunate. So I'm gonna buff her attack. And use fire on it. Rotten potato. And it's dead because of luck. To be fair, it only went berserk because of luck as well, because I got a crit. I don't think it would have made it go berserk otherwise. There's no one home. I guess this house has been abandoned. Ashwood used to be a nice place when it was greener, but who would want to live here now? Armor. Flame skirt. A flame-resistant skirt. So I may want to put that on. Orange juice. Buffs and allies. Maximum HP. Very rare. So I can use that during battles. Got some buffing things over there. Okay, so Natalie. Her normal one gives her a 10% resistance to fire, ice, and electricity. And buffs magic attack when hit by a powerful attack. This one just gives her fire resistance, which is... Uh, plus one to defense, minus one to magic defense. Eh, sure. Also, I think there's still this achievement. There we go. Pervert. 
got the metal for that. If the game runs slowly, check, okay, that's not important to me. You can change options, which is true for just about every game. So if you don't know that, then learn that. If your game's running slowly, don't run at that high of a setting, essentially, is what it comes down to. Okay, another water. Alright, we're almost done. This guy won't be much of a challenge. Especially with no eggs helping us. See, it's already dead. So if I go back to fight more of these enemies again at any point, I'll just skip out on it. Like, you won't be able to see it unless something interesting happens. Ooh. Whoa, there's a huge cavern in here. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? But we can't get in from this side. So... I just went through there, so... Oh, everything didn't respawn. I thought it would. Never mind. So Matt and Natalie, you seem pretty close. Are you f just friends, or are you... We're way, way more than just friends. We're just... Wait, w what? We are? Yeah, we're a team. Noix is in the team too, and so is Lance, if we can find him. <sighs> so, that's all I am to you after all this time? Meow. Is that all then? How boring. Anna looking for the deep dirt. Oh, I'm actually an aspiring actor. I usually play extras in zombie films, pantomimes, YouTube videos, and things like that. Today I'm an extra in this game, how cool is that? Psst, the camera's already rolling, buddy. You should probably get into character. Oh, I should go learn the two lines I was given. Okay, these guys are weak to electricity, fire, and wind, and light. Um, these guys are weak to poison. Was these guys uh weak to white, so I may as well attack. There we go. Eh, I can just attack you to kill you. 148 crit, nice. Done with that. I Scan bot to get the info on these guys. Okay, black birds, level six. A bird that uses wind attacks and has high evade. It's weak to wind, electricity, ice, light, and poison. So with her, I want to use electricity. I broke a fingernail. Good for you. Sadly, this black bush is the last thing alive. Not anymore, though, because no eggs wanted to finish it. Okay, while well, we're here, the cat slime does that for us. And since we didn't technically go anywhere else, all the monsters didn't respawn. Sadly, though, I'm still regening. I don't really want to use any items yet. I can come down here. Looks like we can push that block over there to make a shortcut to the other side of the cave. And like I said, you'll sometimes get items for putting those. The Colbat Pet. Targets all foes, may debuff, targets accuracy. As well as some hand bombs, which they're exactly what they sound like. And now it comes down to these guys. They're weak to earth, poison, and water. None of which she has. I mean... I don't know. How do they feel about darkness? Nope. They're resistant to wind? Of course they are. 
Let's just use this. Random damage. See? 291. That's worth it. And the game did the like, minimize thing again. Of course, for some reason, it keeps doing that. Ice on you. I like getting the enemy. Why is it doing this to me? I'm not touching anything on my keyboard. It's just doing it. I like giving the fire enemies wet though, that way you know they can't just regen themselves constantly since it lowers fire damage. Okay, hey, cake increases maximum. Oh, magic attack, accuracy, and evade. Finally, an evade item as well. Okay, we don't have anything to do over there yet. Right here though. You can get iron ore, concrete, as well as springy springs. Do we have the thing we need? No, we need steel plates, not iron ore. Need more wood for that. We need another rainbow gem and some glass for that one. I can't afford to upgrade my weapons. I'm having a hard time against the monsters here. If you want, to, if you want an edge in battle, you should always take some time to upgrade your favorite weapons in the forge menu. On top of increasing their stats, their special effects will activate more often too. So, fun tip, which reminds me, hats, this, uses iron ore, doing it. The reason I'm doing it is because I want no eggs to pop out more often. Also, speaking of, what does this require? We need silk to make no eggs pop more often from that. A giant floating eye. I think its weak spot must be the eye. You're welcome for the tip. Thank you, no eggs. Time to scan all the enemies. Eyeball. Floating Eyeball, which uses non-elemental attacks. They have a heavy amount of weaknesses, just don't use earth or darkness. Um, Water, I guess, is a good one for him. As is ice. Monster Hunter. We've killed like 50 monsters or 100 monsters or something. No legs once again. Twice in one turn, thanks to the both items. <laughs> wow, I'm doing a lot of damage now. Solid spikes. I'm not gonna lie, I actually read that solid snake at first and I had to correct myself. So much more damage than I used to deal. Okay, so ice and thunder and poison. So I guess I can focus those guys. Thunder, you say? Okay, that guy's dead. <laughs> the guy's just flat out dead. dead you're dead and it's dead as well victory for the Arcan elite got the flame heart staff may burn targets boost the power of fire skills may cast fireball with certain skills ham which increases attack by 2% and fried chicken so first things first, ham. Uh, I hate to say it, but I love giving him all these things, so I'm gonna wait to do that anymore. This is increases increase his invasion. Eh, I'll wait on those ones. Finally, I found more of these guys. I was thinking I might actually have to leave and come back just to get these guys to spawn again. Okay, these guys are weak to poison. They're also weak to light. 
and I'll use the scan bot to see what these guys are weak to. Probably fire. Okay, Furry Slime, a weak, very weak enemy that only uses standard attacks. Weak to fire, poison, and dark. So, uh, poison, you say? I'll just attack normally with that one. And fire, you say? Okay, it's weak to poison. Of course, I'd get a crit. Buff her. And heal her. Deals more critical hits and cannot be hit by any critical hits. She's quite brave. <laughs> okay, it's weak to poison, so yeah, that's what thing to do. Um, I guess I'll just attack normally, hope for, okay, nope. Fire, please kill it. Yep, I killed it, cool. Never had to be hit by anything too powerful. And we're done with that. Got honeycomb, cheese, and brick. Bug wings, garlic, and CP. Try to kill the evasive ones as fast as possible so I don't have to deal with them later, just in case anything lowers my accuracy. Okay, they're weak to water. They're weak to everything but dark and something else. Dark and earth. And I'm too strong for them at this point. Typically, if you fight all the enemies you find, then you'll become strong enough to kill everything by the end of it, even on Epic. Dragon Scales. That's great. That's a rare item. I just realized how long I've been going. Wow. Okay. Yep, 20% chance of Dragon Scales. So that's cool. So I think we're gonna do one thing before we go. Which one was it? Okay, no, we're not gonna do that for now. So, before we go, Pervert, please don't leave 100,000 comments about this. Seriously. And 300 damage, deal 300 damage with a single hit. I think we already had that one. So, water conducts. Shock a wet foe with, thunder, with a thunder attack, or ice if you prefer. And that'll be everything. So guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV. Like I said, there was a good chance that we weren't going to finish it this episode. The problem is that I just realized that this episode's been going on for almost 40 minutes. So, this is going to be a long one, and I'm really sorry. But next time, we're going to be moving on to this area. We're almost at the end of the forest trail. There's someone very special waiting for us at the end. Ah, uh, now, I see a block puzzle. I hate those things. So, guys, I'll see you guys next time.